Yes. Jax, Lala, they bring the tea, right? They bring they mm-hmm. bring a lot of they they talk about other people. I mean, Lala has talked about Ariana. They talk, mm-hmm. you know, are Crystal, are they gonna is Crystal no. gonna talk about Okay, well then they didn't do it on the fucking show. I mean, people said for years that Cynthia was boring. I'm I'm not saying that. They said Cynthia and Candy were boring, and they said Crystal was boring. So that is look, there's no I get why this podcast is happening. Everybody wants to be David Yontef, Sarah Fraser, and in this case, the rat and the gnat. The difference is the rat is the rat. She is the rat. She scurries with that tail. Yes. She doesn't care. So the rat does her job very well. Is Cynthia going to get dirty? Is she going to be dirty, Cynthia? Dirty, 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 Cynthia. You and I I talked about this. I don't know if Teodoro is the genius, if Mm -hmm. iHeart is the genius, but... You know, Teodoro, I will give her a ton of credit. Like, Teodoro will go to BravoCon, general admission ticket. She'll wear that lanyard. She mm-hmm. doesn't give a rip. And she she really sparked in a lot of people and a lot of podcast world a new trend over at BravoCon 2023. Uh, and that was she went live every 10 minutes with an update. This happened. This happened. You know, guess she- who's stealing that into people. St- you know, you want, you want me to list the things people have stolen from me over the years. That's called just the corporate free business place. You and I are stealing that from Teodoro. I don't care if I'm doing it for, I don't give a fuck if I'm doing it from my home. I'll have spots, spies on the ground. We're going to do that. So you better get in your pajamas I'm going to order 15. Go I'm going to order 20. You know what? Even better. Even I'm, better. You go. I'll be here. I'm getting 25 pizzas Friday night. 25. They're coming here. 25 pies. We're going to stack them up. And daddy's going to eat pizza in the pajamas all weekend. I don't give a fuck if anyone wants me to go. I do what I want to do. And uh, you will be there. And listen, girl, you need someone putting this shit out. You're going to be able to upload all this shit to the Sarah Fraser show. You might have to have me doing all this shit for you. And I'll, you know, you have your role. I have my role. And trust yeah. me, trust me, you'll be there. But who's going to be in the phone Googling and gaggling? This might be a good t- Teddy and Tamara. We will be stealing this. Stealing. We're actually stealing it from your asshole. We're going to be doing this. When BravoCon comes in, in, in a year, yes. if I'm still alive, if I'm still fucking alive. Oh, you will. Thank you. I, you know, oh, look, I don't know. I, I guess I, I would say this Nick Vial, they're, they're on with Nick's network and mm-hmm. he's certainly, he's look at his show, you know? So guys have more direction than like a Rachel Levis. You and know? let me be very honest. Let me be very honest. You could come into, this is why I, Starting a second podcast doesn't make sense. You put out more episodes on your own feed. We'll get into that at our live show. The point is, I ain't afraid. Like, there's room for everybody. I hope it succeeds. I hope it's number. There's no bitterness here. I hope that they start. And I mean, it's, took, you know, good luck. Well, I'm not. But I also don't really see it. You just need like a shtick. You need some. Listen. I'm not going to be announcing like Tamara Judge that I'm on the spectrum, but uh, I'm a little off center. I mean, if here's the center, I'm a little off center. You're a little off center. Uh, you got to have a little something, something to have people be engaged. You don't forget Crystal, Cynthia, a housewife films hours and hours and hours and hours to get a soundbite. That is, we thank you, Shed Media. That you've done it right sometimes. You haven't done it right sometimes. Thank you, Truly Original. Thank you, Sirens. It's it's not, every housewife doesn't, Margaret Josephs, where is caviar and tuna fish or whatever the fuck it was called. Oh, well, that's and, gone too. Yeah, that, that that's was what I'm saying. Where And we don't wish them harm. It's just, you gotta have a vision. If you think you're showing up because you're two housewives that have some following, that will get you into the door. It's not going to keep the thing going. And I really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm not wishing harm to anyone. It's just what is the vision? If you're going to be talent and talk on the microphone and leave 
and get in your SUV and go home. I don't know. That's not, that's not, it's not going to well, work. I, Vial is very smart. So I mean, yep. maybe, maybe the these, joke's on me. Maybe the joke's yeah, on us. Maybe he's had these combos with them and they're like, yeah, we're in, we're in. Okay. This is our, this is our new gig. We, you know, when okay. they go low, we're going to go lower. Okay. And, um, Guys. <sighs> Maybe that's it, babe. Maybe that's it, babe. Listen, I could be wrong. I slept. I heard about this show. You ever hear of a show called Real Housewives of Potomac? They say it's R-H-O-P. Well, this shit was coming back. And I slept. And I said, please don't make me do this, God. Please. Please. Please, Sarah. But I got to do my job. And I turn that shit on. And I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to do this. What a miserable, boring, horrible, stupid show. Real Housewives of Potomac, horrible. And then I turned it on mm. and I saw a fake car crash with a tree stump and a deer. And then I saw the Grand Dame getting picked up by Jizzy Jizz and go into a diner. And holy fucking shit, we have, yeah. a hit, we have a hit on our hands here, Sarah. So by all means, I might be wrong. I am wrong every day, 24 hours a day. The pee is good. The pee is good. You like the pee? Uh, yeah, I actually look forward. You know, it's so, you know, because I know the women too. So, and I know all the places in DC. Mm -hmm. I look forward to, it is my guilty pleasure. It's the yeah. way I feel about sister wives. It's the way I felt mm. about Thousand Pound Sisters, but that's so bad this season. But it is so, it is my love. I just, isn't there nothing better than a mindless show you turn on? And you're on your phone scrolling mm -hmm. and like looking to buy and shop clothes or looking. Yeah, at it's called clothes. Selling Sunset with gorgeous women that are size zero and dress like, I mean, I've never seen people dress like this to go and sell a house in my life. It's so fun. It's my pleasure every week. I love it. And I just get in my jammies and I watch and I scroll on my phone and I tune in and I look at the DC places and I miss, you know, the city that made me. And then I like, it's just so fun. I It's, it's beyond good. It's beyond good. Mm -hmm. I'm living for Stacey Rush. You know, Stacey Rush's daughter is, I don't know how, 10 years old, 11 years old. They, She and the ex-husband have not told the daughter that they're getting divorced. Mm -hmm. So it's like, the kids are so smart. I don't even know what she's doing. It's Stacey is like beyond good. It's it's just so great. She's not going nowhere. Mind you, we have a season high. The Last week, I don't know about this week, but last week, the OGs, Karen versus Giselle, which party you're going to go to, we got this shit up to overnight 625,000. The gals are huge. This is, well, that's that's, the, that's like where the OC was this season. You know, even the OC went a little lower than that. The P is doing, uh, it's, I agree with you. I agree with you. I stand corrected. I love to be proven wrong. The fans, these it's not fans, listeners, these listeners, they love what you were wrong about Melissa, Messy G. Never said I was right. I have Psychic Robin on and the Psychics from Psychic Source with Code Velvet, $35. Excuse me, $20 for a 